All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. And holy shit, is it humid in here? I just realized. Uh, so anyway, I got a better night's sleep last night. I tried doing something different, which is uh, just slow down drinking water, like three and a half to four hours before I know I'm about to go to bed. So that seems to be helping. Uh, so that way, you know, I don't wake up in the middle of the night just to go pee, because, well, at least that'll happen much later. So, you know, I was actually able to get six hours of solid sleep and then just lie in bed for a couple hours after. Uh, but with that being said, it's like, yeah, I still have quite a bit of energy, but at least I feel much better now. Also, I forgot to write in my sticky notes that today is lifting weights day. So, just a little off, but for the most part, I feel pretty good. The important thing is that I don't feel sick, you know, from lack of sleep. <coughs> so, I uh, should get my... You know, I actually just like eating the vitamin C chewables. Yeah, they taste so good. <clears throat> Plus, when I uh, have to talk so early in the morning, you know, like uh, my, my stuff just starts acting up, like I guess like allergies or something. All right, so I didn't do any real research, but I did at least pull up this. this video so let me uh, just do that hit the X button so it doesn't uh, it still wants to load the stupid video all right so Bitcoin searches for this week is uh, 11 not too bad um, let's see Bitcoin dollars is still 65 percent 24 volumes of shitty 65 billion Bitcoins at 9408 Litecoin's at 43.55, so it's about as expected as, um, as it can go. Just, just, just nothing's gonna happen this year <clears throat> until after the election, probably. Uh, Dog coins at 309.1 million market cap, and let's see, yeah, Shoban's still ahead by 15%. So a lot of chaos going on in America. Cops are walking off in Atlanta. Supposedly there'll be other walk-offs in other. Um, police precincts uh, throughout America too so it'll be interesting to see how that goes um, all right so this wasn't here before so I'm gonna open that um, jobless came a bit higher than expected I also saw the uh, an article earlier like 20 minutes ago that said like you know things are on track for America to come back as is evidenced by the unemployment data, but of course, it looks like they yanked it. Um, Koga revealing Chinese chief to make brand Darley. Oh, no, that's not going to be good. So, I threw a massive zag, I my socks, you know, blah, 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 Uh, swing glare, stock market rally hits resume on coronavirus news, blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. JMKC coin still at 7 to 8, you know, the usual. 404 coin still pretty stable, 302 to 341. It looks like the price is finally stabilizing. 2x2 two is at 74 to 77. So I'm guessing the uh, supply is starting to become a problem now. So that's why the prices are going down, sadly, a little bit. Uh, Rix is, uh, looks like he wants to be settling at like 200 or 218. <clears throat> I have to do some math in my head, but I think, I think it might be better for me to still continue waiting and just buying cheaper, but again, I gotta find the optimal price point where, cause right, let's say I buy for 210 now, it's going to take me two to three months to compound to the point where I basically double the amount of coins that I have. And then can I get my money back that quickly? If the answer is no, then I'm actually better off waiting so I can buy so that way I can buy more coins at the future price date where I know for a fact this, the price of Rix is gonna go down. So yeah. Alright. Uh well thank you to one person that happened to subscribe for some reason. Welcome, welcome. Um also yeah, it was interesting too. Um I was watching XQC and a couple of days, like two days ago, he ran a poll about the asking like the age of everyone watching. 
And I was actually shocked to find that like 80% of his audience is below the age of 22 or, or, or younger. So most of them were kids, which I find kind of like really ironic. But <clears throat> my younger, um, it's so annoying. Every time I talk, it's just like, you know, my phlegm for some stupid random reason just must act up. You know, I feel fine. But, um, yeah, my younger uh, relatives, they actually know about Tyler 1. So I'm think, thinking, yeah, there might be something to it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Donald Trump told Treasury Secretary to go after Bitcoin. So Donald Trump, yeah, I mean, at this point, Trump really does need to just fucking, I know it's going to cause a lot of problems, but at this point, Trump's really starting to, like, really fucking piss me off here. Uh, he deserve this stupid fat fuck deserves to lose the lose the fucking election. So we're gonna go over that. Okay. Um, Bitcoin fell out of the money. Uh, great news for crypto. Well, that's an interesting paradox of proposing. Um. All right. So so far, I don't really see anything. And of course, we got the good old Middle Eastern Bitcoin terrorism thing. Uh, bullshit. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually curious to see. We're not going to read the article. We're just going to look at the guy's map that he made. Uh, security. Uh, XRP fails how he tests. It's not a security. Says former CFTC Christopher Juan Carlo. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, these are all, all right, these are all crap. All right, we are looking over Trump. Uh, he's getting mad at John Bolton. All right, so just typical, usual bullshit. Um, yeah, I mean, so far, I just don't see Trump's numbers improving. You know, conservatives continue to be delusional. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to know for a fact that Joe Biden's going to be president. Like, I'm already like 95% sure, but there's still like a 5% chance that Trump could still turn this around. All right, but the last thing that, but that his last chance really are the um, the the rallies that he's planning to hold. So I'm gonna give like I'm assuming, of course, he's gonna hold multiple rallies in a one month period, right? Starting this coming with his first one in, I think it was Tulsa, Oklahoma, right? Trump rally. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. <clears throat> Okay, where is the, uh, there we go. I want to actually go to his, yeah, because I, because I just, because I just realized that I looked at it last time, but then it actually has a list of all his future rallies. So let's actually take a look. Because if, if he does these for a month, assuming he holds like quite a few of them, right? I don't know, like six, seven, that would be pretty good. Uh, and his numbers don't change at all. Well, then yeah, Trump's going to lose. <sighs> what is wrong with okay how about events right, I'm just gonna have to turn off the fucking proxy here because it's starting to get annoying uh, all right so here's a rally June 20th that's the one I mentioned here's a bunch of virtual shit all right here we go um, Okay, Blackboard, Trump, Trump, Coalition, Virtual, 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 okay. I'm being turned into Virtual Stone, I try to well, contact Oregon. Uh, Mega Meetups. Oh, wow, they actually created these. Okay. So far, all I see is all virtual shit, but there's actually a pretty large page here. Can I sort this by rallies? I want to sort this by rallies. Uh, oh, you know what I could do? I could just write the word rally here. Uh, June 20th. Wow. So surprisingly, he's only announced one rally. That's pretty, uh, that's actually kind of uncharacteristic of Trump. He's playing it close to the chest. Where? Okay, Kari, uh, oh, that's probably the Elon Musk thing. Elon 
Elon is considering Tulsa, OK, and Austin, TX at front runners. Apparently. OK. Um, all right. So there's that. Uh, boy, there's not even a map here. Uh, oh, great. I'm not going to read this shit. Um, it's not, he uh, is playing how I must search cryptos. Okay, he just followed by Ethereum. Okay, with 30, oh, because they're calling my search interest. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, that's not what I thought it would be. I mean, we already look at it here. All right. Yeah, you can have top, but that doesn't matter if the overall world population is currently at 11 according to Google Trends so it's just like whatever all right stock market news obviously it's going to change or as we hope it'll change I know for a fact it'll change but it's going to take some time all right I was listening again to uh the leader of the Groyper uprising stream yesterday and said a couple things I don't I definitely don't agree with they were shitting on Bitcoin a lot all right it's like it's like uh, is he trying to make his life harder for everybody I was like uh, you know, it's just, but he's also said like, yes, you know, don't get too black pilled, all right? We got a big white pill coming because like, you know, pretty soon the plans in play. I'm just so sick and tired here about the plan. Why don't you just tell us what the plan is? Uh, stocks fell Thursday, but with that being said, he, his body language indicated otherwise that he did seem sure about whatever it is he's doing. So whatever. But I mean, does his plan hold, still hold up if Trump when Trump loses it later this year? Because he's on track to lose. Stocks fell Thursday, crossed the blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, a new unemployment insurance thing were worse than expected last week. The data leveled down just slightly from blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'll explain why the markets are down. But they're not down by that much. So this actually may, this is this actually is right. So the actual market, so the actual equity price that we see now is actually correct. This is actually the accurate price. Um, especially because the unemployment data was a little worse than expected, right? Quote unquote, and the markets reflect with that. So it's actually in uh, everything's fine. Uh, everything is as true price. S P five hundred Dow snapped three day winning streak. By market. Oh yeah, we also had a pretty big winning streak. Even though it doesn't feel like it, right? I mean, it just feels like everything's going up and down the same amount ultimately. All right, here we go. New York City. Uh, one of the under facing will press ahead with the next phase of the reopening process next week. Line for outdoor dining salons open their doors as statewide and found a definite blow below, fell below one percent. Oh yeah, it'll be kind of not. Yeah, so everyone's gonna start opening up. It's gonna be annoying to still carry a fucking mess, especially when it's fucking hot out. Uh, here we go. Morgan Chapman from Opera at more uh, eleven year highs of last week. New home building permanent permit for a month also rose over April. Okay, but it's a little slower. Okay, so everything's going back to normal. Well, uh, but again, what's interesting is we don't see um, Trump's poll numbers improving when they should be. All right, I don't need to read the rest. All right, so I read this off stream and we just noticed this, but basically uh, Elon, good old Elon Musk is looking to create a new Cybertruck Gigafactory. That's what he calls his factories, Gigafactories. Uh, and he wants to create like um, hybrid semi-trucks to reduce you know, carb, uh, CO2 emissions and global warming and all that shit. So he wants to uh, build somewhere in the, Central USA. So he's got Austin, Texas, and Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So uh, we call Sir Dr. J, given the cities for the oil capital of the world. So this actually isn't that bad because oil is just energy, right? Elon Musk is all about the energy. He has to know about, it, especially rocket fuel, right? Because obviously, how else he's going to propel his spaceships into space, right? So it totally, it to it totally. Um, it, it's totally within everyone's comp, core competency, right? Energy, right? You know, I mean, hell, they could probably do nuclear power plants too if they wanted to, right? But they, I guess they currently have no need. Uh, they should have that. They have a Tulsa, Tesla, Tesla, Tulsa. <laughs> I would actually up that. Uh, Tulsa, Tesla. Tesla, meet Tulsa. <laughs> Uh, they test all that's right, re election. They get Tesla, they get re elected. Yeah, why not? In the end, it's never about jobs and the people, it's about staying in power. Well, yeah, part of staying in power is to get shit done and get jobs in your fucking di uh, district so your people have fucking jobs. 
And when they have jobs, they have money. And when they have money, they can do stuff and buy stuff. And when people can do that, they like you. So it makes total sense. Like this, this guy, the, the, yeah, I would actually download this guy too. If I were long down, this guy is fucking retarded. LR and Missouri could use some jobs. Yeah, but that's not central US. I mean, he, I think uh, Elon Musk must have stay closer to the south, I guess, because it's closer to the equator. So there's more like sunlight and shit. On top of that, uh, what did he, what was it? Illinois and I don't know about Missouri. Wait, is Missouri MO? Or maybe that's Montana actually, MO state. Oh, actually Big Mo, yeah, that's Montana actually. No, it is Missouri. Yeah, it is Missouri. Yeah, it was Missouri. Montana State Abbreviation. M-A? Oh, M-T. Yeah, because I was thinking about World of Warships, right? You know, Big Mo, which is the Montana battleship. So, God, that is so confusing. Yeah, so it is M-O. Yeah, so it is fucking Missouri. So I was right the first time. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know much about Missouri, but I think it's friendlier. But Illinois is definitely a bad place. It's just, like, just more of stupid shit Elon. It's like basically California, so why would Elon Musk want to do that? Uh, underdog, blah, blah, blah. Austin's very level, which means they're a lot more smarter, creative, and cool. I'd go with that, although Tulsa's starting to get a little liberal, but it's not like Destiny is still trying because it's a whole area of which is the reason why technology powerhouse, but it's gotten way too expensive. That's what happens in a little area. It's so desirable, everything gets expensive. This guy's actually correct, he, but he has two, probably because he's uh, too blunt, but he's actually correct. You know, because like when I need computer programs, guess who's more likely going to uh, apply, right? Their political lean is going to tend to be leftward, not rightward, right? And it's a it's a huge problem in the conservative movement. Of course, groupers don't want to hear that typically, which is again by itself another fucking big problem. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Tulsa's better logistics. Let's try more for how the room to build low cost of living better to your work development. Is there Reno and Austin pretty much exactly what's in these respects? They don't have an uh, income tax. Higher Reno has our tax. The prior tax is obscene. Reno has the blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, if Tesla moves to Oklahoma, especially Tulsa, well, you can expect taxes to, you know, skyrocket too. You know, bigger numbers, bigger everything. All right. So according to John Bone's new book, The Room Where It Happened, Trump was against Bitcoin long before his 2019 Twitter tirade. Okay. Ah, okay. So this isn't now. This was before. Also, this poor guy also has the mole that I have, but mine's not nearly as insane. The United States Trump wanted to take his apprentice on Bitcoin off Twitter on a regular level, according to former. So Trump is just being a total fucking F word when it comes to just just embracing anything new. Uh, Bolton heard Trump tell Mnuchin to go after Bitcoin. Uh, it was regarding uh, the guy between Trump and you regarding trade sanction tariffs against China in May 2018. It's not the first time Trump has disliked Bitcoin because he's retarded. Went on Twitter trade and called Bitcoin out and based on thin air. He continued by attacking Facebook's leader talk as having little standing or dependability. Back up Trump. Uh, Steve Mnuchin backed his Trump's position. Was looking at all the crypto assets, subsequently claiming the Bitcoin and other crypto are used for money laundering more often than cash is. Uh, my, uh, February this year, Mnuchin said I hear that he would be announcing some senior new cards for cryptocurrencies with the uh, I guess that's FinCEN, yeah. Alluding to more oversight by federal government to prevent money laundering. Mercurial. See, see, we literally just get nothing from Trump but every, all the downside. And, like, you know, of course, he's going after his supporters again by hammering crypto. It's like Trump's just so fucking retarded. You know, maybe things would be better under Joe Biden. I mean, I'm already used to operating from a censorship point of view. And I mostly scrubbed most of my really crazy shit, right? And I know... The, just about every, everybody on the right's gonna get banned, right? So, I mean, that was gonna happen anyway. Uh, but the Mercurial Trail is also used to have a benefit crypto to cover the alleged to uh, the Israel appointed Mick Mulvaney as well as she was in 2018. Mulvaney's program is called Bitcoin and it's not made available by any government. Uh, actually, I don't remember much about Mick Mulvaney. Is he still, is he still, I think, is he still the chief of staff for Trump? Uh, office director of the thing, uh, office of management. Oh, that's right. What does he do? He's a lawyer. Okay, that's not, 
Okay, the mission Trump, the current chief of staff, Mark Mills, is on March 31st, 2020. Yeah, so, I don't know. Oh, so this was recent, right. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. So not much was actually happening today, right? I mean, it's just uh, normal stuff. Right. Um, yeah, aside from that, there's really nothing happening. I mean, I'm still waiting to buy bricks. I have to do the math, but I think I'll probably buy somewhere around 150 at least. Because um, let's put, let's say I have a million dog coins. I actually don't have nearly that much, right? Uh, I'm still in the process of winding down all my shit. But just to keep the number simple and kind of big, let's just say a million dog coin, right? Well, if I buy at like, well, it's 210 essentially. Let's say I just bring it down to 200. If I buy at 200, that, uh, I'm assuming it drops down to 100, right? Hundreds of Satoshi's of a Bitcoin. Well, how long? Like, it's going to take me two or three months to recoup my investment, right? If I do 100% compounding. Actually, I'll probably a little less than two months, right? About seven. Yeah, about seven to eight weeks, right? Now, in that seven to eight weeks, would I be better off just waiting for the price to go down? That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to like calculate. So. That's why if I could buy it right now for 150, that would be pretty. Uh, that'd be pretty tight. So yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out. So anyway. Um, yeah. So uh, in case you haven't been watching all my videos, I'm winding down my compound coin. I'm getting rid of my steam and hive, which will take probably seven seven or eight months. I have some leases that will go out for at least four months on like steam. Try to get all my money back. Uh, and then just and then put it all into ricks basically. So basically, I'm swapping out a bunch of my shittier proof of stake coins for ricks. So yeah. But anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, or read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so continue growing this channel. All right, I'm done for the day. I'm actually hungry, and I guess I kind of want to watch more of Last of Us Part Two. XQC actually got up early and is going to do like a straight stream playing the whole game. So I might even have to turn on the air conditioner today. This humidity is awful. All right, so I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, again, not everything looks pretty normal to me, right? But again, if you haven't accepted Joe Biden as president, well, I guess you should accept that, all right? Um, because so far nothing looks good. All right, but you know, again, we'll see how Trump does with his uh, rallies. Because if he, because if he continues doing mostly virtual rally shit like that, Trump's bread is to get in front of people's faces and see him physically. That's where he's strongest. He's weakest when he's on the internet. So he's he's literally just handing Joe Biden the presidency. Joe, on the other hand, he gets stronger the more he stays out of the public view, right? Because he's senile, he's old, he's frail, but in a controlled mostly virtual environment a closed environment joe biden appears normal right i'm I, as far as i know i'm the only guy that's been saying this shit and like no one's pushed back on it but then no one's also promoting it either so it's like what's sir it's like you know the fucking everyone's agenda is just starting to like annoy me it's like you know it's like oh we're america first yeah are, really are you all right you know just it's just so sick and tired of the fucking grifting see you all in tomorrow's video thanks Judson Chan, JMC coin, 404 coin. Uh, and the good news is, you know, Trump, like most of his tweets and his actions, he's just completely worthless. So, you know, he'll say a lot of shit, but, you know, at least uh, it's probably not going to affect Bitcoin that much, simply because Trump just doesn't know what he's fucking doing. And on top of that, if Trump hates Bitcoin, then that means the people who hate Trump are going to embrace Bitcoin. So that actually benefits us. So as much as I don't like the shit libs, and, or even some of the liberals, at least there's a reason why, karma-wise, they still get to exist, right? Because of stupid shit like this. You always need liberals to counter the stupidity of the conservatives when they do stupid things. But you need conservatives to counter the stupidity of the left-wing people when they do do stupid things, right? And round and round and round the cycle goes. I'm, as you already know, I want that cycle to end, right? Why can't, why, can't both, why can't everyone just stop being fucking retarded for once, right? But, oh well, you know what? We'll get rich, we'll get famous if that's what you want, and then we'll figure out the rest later.